Hey, seventh graders, it's Miss Gross. Today I'm going over um, statistics. Um, we are going to be doing our statistics project during this unit, and I think you're going to be really excited about it. But before we can get into that, we need to know what statistics is. Today we're going to go over some vocabulary about statistics, and then we're also going to be talking about sample versus population. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, in your notebooks, you should have your um, you should have this glued in and um, you're going to, because we're dragging and dropping on the, here, you want to just write them in. So write in what you need. That way you'll know what to drag and drop. All right. So the first one is census and census is a collection of data from every member of the population. So when we take a census, we want to collect data from every member of the population. You may be aware every 10 years they take a census and so they might've come by your house and ask you questions or your parents may have filled out an online form. The next one is inferences. And inferences is drawing conclusions. Oftentimes you hear inferencing in reading class, um, maybe writing an ERQ, making an inference. And so for your statistics project, you're going to be um, making some inferences, drawing some conclusions based on um, the sample that you had of your population. So speaking of sample, sample is a uh, data collected from part of the population. So obviously it is not easy to collect data from every single person um, in the entire world or every single seventh grader, even at Spencer County Middle School. Um, so we do a sample, we do a smaller part of the population. And speaking of population, population is the entire set of items from which data can be collected. So for example, if we were wanting to um, survey uh, seventh graders, that would be every single seventh grader in the entire world, which clearly we can't do. So we take a smaller sample. So we might want to change our population to seventh graders at Spencer County Middle School, and then we could take a smaller population. So it's what we want to select. Um, and then finally, we are going to create surveys, and survey is a method of collecting information about a certain group of people. And so once you discern who you want to study, you're going to create a survey. And that's what we're going to do in our project. All right, go ahead and go on to the next slide. The next slide says, determine if the following populations would best be studied using the entire population or just a sample. So students in the state of Colorado. We'll think about the size of Colorado. Um, and the amount of students that would be in there, and that would be near impossible to do everybody. So we would want to do a sample there. So just write in sample. Students, number two, students in one PE class. Well, that would be easy. Usually there's no more than like, you know, 40 students, maybe 50 students in a PE class. So you could do that. So this one, you couldn't do the entire population. Number three, students enrolled at all division one colleges. There's a lot of division one colleges, so we would need a sample for that one. Number four, teachers at a high school, just any high school. Usually there's not a whole, whole lot of teachers at a high school. Even if it was big, I think it would still be easy to survey all of them. So population for that one. And then finally, middle school teachers in California. Now remember, California is a very large state. Um, to do all middle school teachers in California would be really hard to do. So on this one, I would do sample. All right, go ahead and make sure that yours is filled out in your notebook. Pause the video if you need to, and then we'll move on to the next one. And the last slide, um, determine which of the following populations would be, would more than likely need a sample drag and drop the yellow rectangle over your answer. So on here, on your notebook, you may want to highlight or circle or put a star beside it. So number one says all, or excuse me, students in one seventh grade class. Um, B is all eighth graders on a basketball team. C, all sixth graders in the district. And D, teachers at one middle school. Now, which one would you need a sample for? So students in seventh, one seventh grade class, that's easy to do. Um, also with eighth graders on a basketball team, that would be easy to do. Um, and then teachers at a middle school would be easy to do. But all sixth graders in the district, I mean, if you're thinking about Spencer County Middle School, not so hard. But what about if you're thinking about like Jefferson County Middle School or Jefferson County Public Schools? That would be much harder. So this one would more than likely need a sample. Question number two. Members at a local golf club. 
all residents in Dallas, Texas, all high school female athletes at one school, and all members of the USA soccer team. So think about all, like think about what would be the largest that would need a sample. And I'm thinking all residents in Dallas, Dallas, Texas, because that would be a lot of residents. Oopsie. Let's go ahead and highlight those. And then finally, number three, all fast food workers in Kansas, all seventh graders on the volleyball team, teachers at a small town high school, or staff at the White House. Think about what's your largest population here, and I think it would be fast food workers in Kansas. So that is all for our video today. Just a reminder, make sure that's glued into your red notebook and then go to your checkpoint, drag and drop um, these and turn in your checkpoint. Have a great day. Bye guys.